Hey, it's Lance of 20 Side at Night. And I'm Evan. And today we're going over So You Wanna Be, Captain Marvel. Uh, she's the biggest powerhouse in, uh, in, in Marvel Comics for right now. And the movie will surely be an unfettered hit. Uh, truly one of the greatest movies of the Marvel uh, Cinematic Universe lineup. And if this is seen in the future, you would all know I'm a clairvoyant. Surely nothing will go wrong with this film. I mean, I'll never get to see it because she's like, no, Evan. Yeah. Starting with her class, we made her a mystic, but we multi-classed a little bit into Solarian. So the reason that we did ch choose mystic is we did make her a star shaman. And it is really good because a lot of her abilities and the star shaman's abilities line up. For one, they got the blasty ability where you can cast magic missile, even though it's not magic missile, it's, it's magic missile. And also she has the ability to walk the void. So she is able to fly around in space and breathe in space. And then she has her starlight form, which gives her that big glowy energy that you're seeing in the trailer, which makes her harder to hit. And then even further on down the line, once she is in starlight form, she can fly like she's using the fly speed, which makes sense because she is want to fly, so. Yeah, she does fly around a lot and glow. And that is casting it as if it were a third level spell. So it's a pretty fast speed too. Uh, going into her spells that she gets as being a star shaman, these are going to be the spells that she already receives. Whatever other spells, there's recommendations for that. But the spells that she already gets as a star shaman are shooting stars, which is basically magic missile. She gets dark vision at second level. Third level, she'll get a radiate. And at fourth level, she'll get remove radiation. She also telekinesis and control gravity later on down the line. But we did stop her. We did stop her mystic levels before she got high enough to cast those uh, fifth and sixth levels, those fifth and sixth level spells. We kept her on the ninth level for Mystic so that she would get a lot of the things that were really smack to her. Control gravity and telekinesis don't really fit. Outside of the spells that she gets for being a Mystic, the spells that we recommend giving to her are going to be Stabilize as a zero level spell, Reflective Armor and Mystic Cure as first level spells, Hurl Force Disc and Lesser Restoration as second, and then for third, Lesser Resistance Armor. These spells, they are really good. They all they do keep in the same vein as Miss Marvel, and they also do uh, fill out those roles as the healer of the group. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of neat playing her as a character just because you don't, I, a lot of times I don't figure my healer being the main attacker or the strongest one of the group. The rest of the levels that we're going to give her to put her into level 13 are going to be Solarian. We gave her Solarian just because it does again match a lot of what she does. We went with stuff, we went their solar weapon for the manifestation just because when she's not blasting people from range, she's, she's mixing up yeah, a she's melee. Punching. Yeah. As every good superhero would need, the ability to you know, punch real hard. Yeah, to punch your enemies in the face with flaming hands. And that's why we give her plasma teeth. We give her flaming hands. Outside of her flaming hands, though, uh, just going into her alignment should be lawful good because she was a member of the United States Air Force and then NASA. Yeah, the, the Avengers. And yeah, the Avengers, the Kree, who aren't inherently good or evil. They're just like any other planet or organ planet or organization, just like well, they're not. It's not just like one thing where it's like no bad guy race or good guy race. <laughs> yeah, no, they're not like they're not like the dirty scrolls who are you know just. <laughs> Bad guy race through and through, or the drow. <laughs> she was more. She was very much a superhero, and we lawful good totally fits with that. Even during Civil War, she sided with Iron Man in support of the Superhero Registration Act. With theme, we decided to go with Ace Pilot. One because it does give her a bonus to dexterity, but it also go. But it also goes to more to her being an Air Force pilot and a NASA. Yeah, and a NASA, which is the flyingest flyer she can get to be. You know. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's not just like, hey, so what What are you doing, NASA? I don't know. I, I drive know. a truck. <laughs> yeah. I, Actually, I'm pretty sure NASA has truck drivers like, you know, to, to like ferry things to Yeah, but not, they don't send them to, they're like, we're going to send you to, we're going to send you to space, Clint. It's like, all right, well, I mean, I'm not qual qualified, but hell yeah, let's get her done. No, nah, that's what the song Space Trucking was about. <laughs> all right, so with her... <laughs> Smokey the Bandit 3 into space! <laughs> so, so, so with her ability scores, we went with strength as up there with the highest ones. Uh, we went with the split array. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason being she's good at a lot of things mm -hmm. and, we, and we wanted this to show that. Her being a 10th level mystic, that does afford her to get two ability score bumps. At the end of the day, she's going to have a strength of 18 a dexterity of 16, a constitution and wisdom of 18, an intelligence of 10, 
and a charisma of 12. We, we went with boost to her strength, constitution, and wisdom. Miss wisdom, because as a mystic, we wanted to give her a higher wisdom score so that she can blast people all day, get some more use out of her spells, and her spell saves are harsher to overcome. Strength, because super strength is one of her key abilities, is yeah, one of her key punch. things. Yeah. And we got no weak punches here. And it also melds Will well into her being a Solarian that she can punch you with her flaming fists extra hard. Uh, Dexterity took kind of a backseat, but it's still up there with the 16. We gave her this because she's going to be using light armor. She's also more of a melee combatant in you know, fighting style, so Dexterity would help her to not get punched in the face as much as he's punching other people. But the con is just so, when she does get punched in the face, she gets to do a whole Dragon Ball Z thing where she's like slowly moving the fist back with her, like she's punching, she's slowly moving her head back. She's like, I, I told you to hit me as hard as you could. Yeah. Uh, Charisma took kind of a back seat. It really would have helped to be able to make it higher, her being a Solarian, but in the comic books, she always has a need to want to be liked more than she's actually ever sort of liked. At least in the comics, the new movies, I'm sure they're going to, I'm sure they'll probably Everyone's jazz her up. Her. Nah, everybody, they're going to tell you, you're going to love Ms. Marvel. She's a new favorite hero. She's the best person ever. She's not bad. That's actually one thing I liked about her is that she did have layers to her where she wanted to be liked more than she actually does. Just like us. You mean like a complex character with like wants and needs? and some, some flaws. Yeah, and I'm sure they're going to keep those in the movie. And uh, with uh, with intelligence, Ten's not bad, but she's never really one to invent things or be the Tony Stark of the group. She's more, uh, just, you know, she's smart, but she's not, she's no super genius. So Ten sort of reflects that. So with uh, the skills that she gets, Mystic does, the Star Shaman Mystic does grant her piloting as a skill, which is great because it also works really well into what Carol Danvers would be doing. Yeah, and also with her background of being an ace pilot, so she can pilot real well. Yeah, and she will get bonuses into that. Diplomacy and intimidation, because as a member of the Avengers, who was really trying to spearhead the Superhero Registration Act, she either had to tell people, hey, you have powers, you have responsibility, uh, so join up, or she just lift up like a bus and like, listen, you're, you're registering. <laughs> also survival because of basic training that she would receive from the Air Force would tell, would teach her how to survive in dangerous environments and also any training she would get as her, as her time being an Avenger and then a member of the Kree. That would grant her some knowledge there. Athletics and acrobatics because she, before she gained the powers of the, uh, of Marvel and the Kree, she already was near the peak of human fitness and agility. Her becoming Miss Marvel enhanced that greatly. So that's, so we put it into that. And again, having those higher strength and dexterity roles, it's gonna play well into that. Whatever other ability scores you decide to put on there, I would keep in mind is who the character of Miss Marvel is and what she can do. Feats that we gave her are combat casting, jet dash, shot on the run, lightning reflexes, long arm proficiency, just sort of uh, reflect the fact that she was in the military and they, you know, most time when you're in the military, they're not like, hey, shoot a pistol. That's all you're ever going to need. They taught how to shoot a rifle too. And then also spell penetration, just to show how, uh, how much punch that her, uh, her spell. We gave her shot on the run so that she can move and attack in any order. Typically in Starfinder, you're either, you either move before or after your movement. This allows her to do it during breakup movements or things like that. And we give her combat casting just so she's not getting attacks of opportunity when she is casting some of her longer spells. And it does, it does fit a little bit more how she is technically throwing around magic, but it's not like it's not like spell learning magic. It's more like if something's sci-fi enough, it starts to look magic. Yeah, and how she's like punching people and also while she's giving you a wallop, she throws a, a, a magic hadouken at you. With her items, she's not really as expensive as some of the other super like the predator characters. Yeah, like the Predator or Master <laughs> Chief for sure. She, in, in especially in comparison to her level, she's pretty inexpensive. For her armor, we decided to go with the Kathasa Micro Cord Mark IV. The Micro Cord is 32,800 credits. It gives a pretty good armor class of plus 13 to her EAC and plus 15 to the KAC. It has a maximum dex bonus of five. Three armor slots, and we filled up two of those by giving her a black force field. And the last one has taquitos. Yep, the last one's taquito slots. The reason why we went with the force field instead of some of the other armor upgrades on there because 
Force field is a great black force field to generate over time. And a force field is a really good way to compensate for her, us not going with the stellar manifestation of armor. So she's getting both with this. Mm -hmm. The black force field is 10,500 credits. And those are both around the item levels of 10 or 8, so you're not going above item level budget if you do that in your game, or really even like credit budget. Once you're around 13th, 14th you ish should, level. Yeah, you should have the money or access to get that for a reward. And one thing is, yeah, it is kind of expensive, but once you think about it, we're only giving her that, and if she's 13, she's gonna be getting the, the, she could be getting these things like quest rewards or just because she'll throw a truck at you if you don't give that to her but you could also give her weapons we decided to not give her weapons because it's not quite as in theme you know given her background though she could very well pick up a, a gun and start shooting it but that would be up to you if you wanted to give her a gun yeah that about covered that covers a lot of miss marvel whatever role playing ways you want to play her whether it's the very angry and uh, vengeful miss marvel like who was recovering from from her losing her powers to rogue or if you're playing her more as the person who wants to be a benevolent force around Civil War II, who knows this is, okay, the calm down, we don't got to solve all of our problems with, with just, just beating people's heads in. Or the newer hero or heroine who is trying to learn her, her place in the pantheon of the Avengers and what have you. I hope you have fun with her. She seems like a good character on paper. Uh, hopefully she's fun in practice. Yeah, would you play her? Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd play her. I mean, I can't see her movie, but I'd totally play Miss Marvel. <laughs> I would play Miss Marvel too. Putting her together seemed cool. That mix of both Marshall and also Spellcaster seems great. And that about covers it for me. Yeah. All right. We'll say a special thank you to Lorenzo Valetti and Jordan Beard. You two are the winners of, of the February 2019 miniatures giveaway of Icons of the World, Storm King's Thunder, or uh, the Guildmaster's Guide to Ravenka. Ravenka. To Ravenka. To, to, to Ravenkaya. Uh, just email us at 20 Saturday Night at gmail.com so we can get the ball rolling. Send these out to you. And uh, thanks for watching 20 Saturday Night, and bye for now.